The Pueblo Alto Trail is 4.8 miles round trip. However, this trail I believe is longer than that. When I looked at my watch, it said six miles. So it was possibly that it's a little bit longer than that. Regardless, it's a good trail to take. Just make sure you take plenty of water just in case you were to get um, a little disorientated or lost there. Just to be mindful of that the, the trail can sometimes be confusing if you can't find a little rock markers at times. So just make sure you take enough water. Realize it gets really windy up there and there's always the possibility that the weather could change on you. So just be prepared, prepared for the elements and, you know, have a good time up there. Um, as you can see, it was pretty fun. I got a little tired of the gusts and wind, the gusts of wind that were happening up there. But all in all, it was well worth going up there and checking it out. Especially the ancient uh, great houses that I saw up there. And the variety of uh, terrains uh, overlooking Pueblo Bonita and other areas of the park too. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my little hike that I did. And I thank you for watching. Also, be mindful to know your physical limitations in some parts of it. Um, but all in all, as long as you prepare and everything, you'll be okay. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching and I hope you're having a good day. Bye now. Also, this is all located in Chaco Canyon Cultural Center down in uh, New Mexico. Uh, if you're curious about where all this is being filmed right now. And it was very awesome. There's so much to see here. And I hope for my videos that some people go check this out and really see a lot of the good stuff that is going on here that they've done to really promote understanding and the accomplishments of Native Americans within the United States.